Um, and then lastly, uh, four, their uh, transmedia stories are used for various purposes. Um, we'll be getting into a lot of these next week in our case studies, um, but they can be used for marketing. Um, I've got a few examples here. Um, the Beast uh, alternate reality game, which was developed in 2001 for the release of the movie AI Artificial Intelligence, which kind of expanded the story world of of that film and, and also kind of gave all of the kind of rabid users and people who are interested in that film another way to kind of interact with it um, before AI, you know, launched as a film and, you know, kind of gave a wholesale new understanding for that. Um, but it was also essentially a, a marketing tool for that film to get people kind of immediately bought into their concepts and ideas. Um, another one of these that's probably maybe even more famous would be I Love Bees, uh, which was released uh, for the release of Halo 2, um, which kind of promoted Halo 2 by way of uh, this alternate reality game where um, users were doing everything from going to payphones to intercept calls to kind of uh, solving riddles online and on networks, things like that. But again, kind of I Love Bees was established for marketing purposes to kind of generate an inbuilt audience for that property of Halo before it were to come out. So you can see that as, you know, some sort of marketing end. Um, they can also be done as kind of standalone experiences. So one that you might check check into would be Perplex City, um, which was kind of a, a literary game that uh, didn't have much of a tentpole in other media, but it kind of uh, generated different methods of engagement for users to kind of understand their cities and others um, by by way of kind of experience experiencing things for themselves. Um, there's all there's all manner of other. Uh, kind of standalone games. Another one that you might check out would would be um, from No Mimes Media. Um, it's the ten minute ten minute transmedia case case study. I'll try to put a link to that up just so that you can kind of get a get a quick look at something that's kind of standalone that isn't being used to market something. Um, and kind of something that I previously previously mentioned was uh, Kathy's book. Um, so we can think about this as kind of a means of publishing through transmedia, um, where you were kind of uh, given a book and through YouTube links and other, other kind of different platforms on the internet, you were kind of, um, chasing answers around, around the internet, um, and then going back to the book to kind of see what those answers did for you within the, the span of the narrative.